Hello and welcome to uh, Filmixologist, uh, the place thingy where we just, you know, go on the internet, buy some cheap junk, and hope for the best. Case in point, this uh, unit we've got here. Now, I'm gonna do some, uh, first of all, description of uh, what's wrong with this unit that I've just bought off the internet for 21 British pounds. Uh, and the reason why it's so cheap is because it's got lots of issues. I'll get into that in a minute. But then I'm also going to use this video to explain what are the differences between the Holly squ Square uh, Spread Ball family of carbs, which is this one, and the Square Ball carbs, which are which are the ones that I do in the channel. This, I haven't done I haven't done one on the channel I've, I've worked with one before but not on the channel so this is going to be quite good to just you know put, put the content out there so let's start with um all of the issues uh, from this particular unit so what you can see there is the sum total of the parts that came in the box and already there are well a few problems Problem number one, um, this came with two fuel bowls. The problem is that uh, there's only one fuel bowl that is a proper spread bowl fuel bowl, which is this one, which is the primary. Now, uh, and it is completely knackered because if you look here, all of the all of the threads are completely uh, stripped, so this fuel bowl wouldn't work. So that's already a problem, and crucially, uh, the base plate is okay, and also there is another item unit missing here, which is, I don't know if you can see it from there, but in here, there is the discharge for the accelerator pump, uh, which is missing. Now, on the, on the spread book carbs, they have a special type of pump discharge called the anti-pullover. Um, Units, um, so but that's not too bad. I can I can obtain one of those. Uh, the metering block it's sort of okay. I mean it has this like weird jets on it, so hopefully I'll be able to put you know proper hollow jets on it. Uh, but th this should be okay. And so therefore what I'm what I'm going to be missing is the fuel bowls, but I've got a cunning plan And the cunning plan is to replace the standard fuel bowl with cathedral style or center hung fuel bowls Which I have lying around here. So therefore I think that might be okay I might be able to kind of turn the unit around so now I'm going to show you in a bit more detail uh, the characteristics of the Holly spread bore and how uh, and how the units came about. So the first the first thing I have to say is that the Holly spread what they are is you can you can see here there there are carbs that have a very small primary opening and a very large secondary opening and what they are meant to do is they are meant to be replacements straight replacements of the Rochester Quadrajet for all sorts of GM applications and if you can see this is a this is a standard holly square ball base and as you can see they're all they're all, all the holes are exactly the same size and if I want to put them side by side you can see that whilst the mounting of the holes at the bottom might be okay the holes here are not compatible here at the front so you couldn't you couldn't just bolt this base on top on top of the other it just wouldn't work and and as, and as you can see the, 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 the there's two holes here and there's there's two holes on each side here and two here so that's that that's why it's meant to it's meant to replace the quadrajet and also 
if you look at the front of the car so this is this is the metering block it goes like so and this is the the the, the primary fuel bowl basically it is it is oriented like this so as to have the exact same orientation of the Rochester Quadrajet, the fuel inlet of the Quadrajet it faces like this. So this is this is meant to be a straight replacement for the Quadrajet. And I think the reason the Holly did this is because just just to have a, 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 just to either sell it to GM as our original equipment or for the second hand repair market if somebody had a problem with a quadrojet that they could just junk it out and, and replace it with a holly without too much bother and that's and that's why it is set up in this way because it's meant to be a straight replacement down even to the fuel inlet but the problem <coughs> the problem that i have <coughs> is that i haven't got a lot of spares for this for this carbs so what I'm going to have to do now is I'm gonna do what I always do which is before I store this carb whilst I'm chasing all the parts I'm gonna clean it all up and I'm gonna store it clean you always have to store the carbs clean uh, that's what I do that's what it works for me there is one more thing though that I want to point out some particularity of the spreadboard carbs before I show you the results of the cleaning process is that I don't know if you can, if you can see it here but the fuel bowls they use slightly different screws from the standard cathedral cathedral bowl or from the you know normal normal this one's actually funny enough which if you can see all bolts are the same length whilst in spread ball hollies you've got bolts that are of different lengths so this ones are longer than this ones so that's a, another particularity of the holly spread balls so now in a minute i'm gonna put this in the in the ultrasonic cleaner give it a nice good clean and just ready for the next phase which will be just parking them for a while if, until I get all the parts to be able to fix it and then yes I'm gonna reassemble it okay so this is the um, the result of the cleaning process and this unit actually has been a very good example as to to to, to stress my point about cleaning anything before you put it away in storage why because doing that allows you to diagnose if there are any faults so for example remember earlier in the video i said that i had got an a, a spare secondary fuel bowl a 4150 fuel bowl however as it turns out this isn't really a spare because look at this when i started cleaning it there was all sorts of holes in there and this is some epoxy so evidently this fuel bowl has a hole in it and has been like plugged with epoxy which isn't very good um so that's that was one issue <coughs> and the other issue also is there, there was a bit of pitting here in the in the in the in the primary shaft and there was some corrosion also on the, on the throttle plate so evidently if i would have left this here for a very long time or for any for a period of time this would probably could have ceased and therefore it becomes more complicated to fix so that's why whenever you're putting a carburetor to kind of away in storage whilst you're getting the parts always quite important to um, make sure that you clean it good enough not necessarily the final clean but good enough clean so that you can diagnose that the unit is working okay however this this is a, this is a bit of a win because in the I forgot to show in the previous in, in the previous segment that this video actually came with brand new this unit came with brand new needle and seat assemblies so that's a bit of a win okay so thank you very much for watching for your questions and if for the time being i'm gonna i'm gonna pack this away properly i'm gonna just put it away somewhere else 
and you won't see this for a while because I need to obviously get all the parts but I've got tons of projects to do I've got so much work to do it's ridiculous so I'll see you on the next episode thank you for watching bye